This airline worker says he's been feeling tense ever since he found out vaccination was mandatory at his work. I'm very nervous and I've been very anxious. CBC News has agreed to keep his name and where he works confidential over his fears he'd lose his job. Having a close family member that uh, has had an adverse side effect uh, following the vaccination, I think that it's been very difficult for us to set that aside. And uh, I know that's one of the reasons why we've decided not to be vaccinated. He's just one of many Canadians who will now be required to be vaccinated. Policies are being adopted at workplaces across the country. The federal government has done it, so have all of Canada's major banks and airlines. I've got to make a choice between getting something I'm not exactly comfortable with, putting aside uh, those issues and, and that, that worry and stress, and putting food on my table. Unions are divided, treading the fine line between workplace safety and protecting workers from job loss. At least one airline industry union has said it categorically rejects termination as a result of non-vaccination. Other unions support vaccine mandates. I am not supporting those that say, oh, geez, it's my right not to get vaccinated. Therefore, well, you know, they're going to walk around the country like a loaded pistol. Unionized or not, this lawyer says there will be little recourse for employees who refuse. The employer would have to show that, uh, you know, they did have cause to terminate that employee. And uh, a mandatory vaccine policy is likely to be ruled uh, reasonable. Uh, I think that's the toughest part is that it's this is the only option that's available to you now is vaccination. And uh, I think that's wrong. The airline worker says he'll hold out as long as he can, even at the risk of being fired. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Toronto.